Dennis, how are you doing? All good, mate. All good. How are you? I'm very well. You're looking very sharp in there today. Feeling good. Feeling good. And looking very tanned as well. <laughs> well, it is that that maystone, mate. It's, probably, it's, probably, it's about 29 degrees up there. Do you know what I mean? So. <laughs> It's own microclimate. Um, yeah, and Big Al, putting you through your paces there. Um, yeah. You have fun with him, don't you? Yeah, me and, Al, me and Big Al, we get on really well. He's like a big old kid, isn't he? Yeah. A big old teddy bear, isn't he? He's missed thinks we're having an affair and all she does. <laughs> 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 she thinks we're having an affair. Oh, that's brilliant. I saw you in there, just giving him a little, little, little few digs in there. Listen, you got, it's, like, it's like a garden, you've got to give him a couple of digs here and there, do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> keep, him, keep him intact. Hopefully my hair stays like this here and in my fight as well. Same for me. Same for Al. Speaking to Al, it's, it's, it's more difficult keeping you out of the gym than, than getting you to come to the gym, if you know what I mean. But I guess you'd have had to have a bit of time off because of that nasty cut you got in your last fight. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit of a head clash, wasn't it? Um, I had a little bit of time off. I was, uh, I was still training out. I went on holiday about a week later. I was still training every day. I'm a, I'm a madness, and I? Just a, just a bit of a greedy b that's the problem. <laughs> I don't want to do the Harry Bowls. I've always got them in my pockets. <laughs> I've got Al checking my pockets when I walk into the gym. But yeah, I mean, when you're not, how, how do you relax? Because obviously you're not the sort of type to be falling out of nightclubs. No, I, I find it hard to relax, to be honest with you. I do find it hard to relax. I go out, watch a, bit, watch a football, or I am, um, when I sort of saw the water online, that's, that's the one I use. Um, I saw this mini documentary about you recently. I didn't realise that you, you live with all your, all your family, like your mum, your dad, your brothers. Yeah, yeah, well, listen, we're, we're a very, very close family, all my, bro uh, my brothers and all that there. Um, I've got a young little brother, Richard, he's a good little boxer. He's up and coming, he's one no with one knockout, knockout as well, just like his big brother. How old is he? He's ten. Yeah, well, we were talking about him earlier on, and you, you think he's, he's, he's going to clear up? The next big thing, uh, Uncle Frank will be signing him in a couple of years, I reckon, definitely. I like that line from your mum about, um, about you, you hiding in the loft to avoid going to school and then, uh, then you'd shin down the drain pipe and run off to train. Oh, it was a nuisance, honestly, it was a proper nuisance. I used to get me PlayStation, bring it up there in the loft, have a little TV up there, and uh, I used to sell it up, have me blanket everything in there, have everything ready. I'd even gra grab some food and stuff and I'd leave it up there, even some cereal. And I'd sit, so I ain't got to go down so she don't catch me. And I used to tip me cereal in the bowl Play me PlayStation. <laughs> I used to hide and not go to school. And she got a phone call one time. She got a phone call of the teacher. She, she beat the out of me, to be honest. Really, yeah. really, yeah. I, I, mean, I, I can imagine her shouting, Dennis, Dennis, school, and you're you're like just up in the loft. Proper menace I was definitely. <laughs> and then when you see a key moment when she's out or whatever, you just like uh, nip off and go to train. Nip off, Rock, nip nip off, go train, come back. <laughs> have have packs of Harry Bowls as well waiting wait upstairs for me. Smash them. <laughs> Ah. Oh, 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 boy. Hey, Nasty man. What do you know about your opponent, Charles Tondo, who's flying in from, uh, where's he coming from, Tanzania? Yeah, I, I ain't watching much of him at all, to be honest with you. We train around lads, um, I leave it to Al, I just uh, do the business. But um, he's small, strong, very game, he's never ever been stopped. Uh, he's gone the distance with Tommy Frank, for what I know of. So, um, I'm looking to get him out there. Then there's the man that's going to stop him, I reckon, 100%. I'm definitely going to put a great performance on for my fans as well. But I'm 100% coming for the KO. I'm coming out, I'm telling you, I'm going to come out. If I have to come out wingmill, I'm going to get him out there some way. Everyone I speak to in the boxing community, whether it's promoters, fighters, trainers, everyone really rates you. Everyone thinks you're going to go places. Does that put any extra pressure on you at all? No, definitely not. I believe since I'm five years of age, I'm going to be a world champion. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be in this game if, if I knew I wouldn't be a world champion. This fight here, if I couldn't beat this guy, I'd hang up my gloves. That's the way I look at it. I, get, I give up right now. I've, 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 I put all my eggs in one basket since I'm, since I left school at ten. I um, I've sacrificed so much my whole life. So if I couldn't beat this guy, I'd, as I said, I'd hang up the gloves. And and if I and if I couldn't be, if I couldn't believe I wouldn't be a world champion, I wouldn't be boxing now. I know I'm gonna be a world champion. No, I don't. I don't think I know. Yeah, can't argue with that, mate. One, one of the people who rates you is uh, Tyson Fury. Is the, the main the, man. The main man behind me. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, coming from the same community especially, has he like, been an inspiration to you? 100%. Big inspiration to me. He's an inspiration to the whole world as well. It's what he's come back, what he's done. The man's just, man's a machine. It'd be bloody good, bloody good to get an heat on the car. If I come out with no cuts and no injuries, hopefully them good Frank gets me out on the car. I'll be straight back in. That'd but, be uh, amazing. Yeah. That'd be amazing. 
two two travellers doing um, doing the world proud. He's a, he's a he's a proper idol. He's a proper idol, not just to the travelling community, to the whole world.